Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Final Fantasy Legend! It's time to climb the tower one last time. Since we're getting real close to the end of the game, I thought I'd do something a little different this time around and give my review of the game while I'm making the climb up the tower here. And here we get the Ninja Gauntlets, the best gauntlets in the game. They increase your agility by 10, and they have pretty good, darn good defense, which is why I'm equipping them on Tifa, even though I probably prefer the strength bonus of the Giant Gauntlets, but, you know, they're there, so... So let's move on, then. Uh-oh! It's Genboo! He's back! Well, at least they denote that he's different from the original Genboo that we fought before. Okay, strongest attacks, melt. Now, the thing is, though, since they were revived, uh, they're undead now. So they're susceptible to, say, the sun sword that I got, and you can kill them in one hit. Yeah, I know, that's a little cheap, but... And we get the meat of Genbu too. We want to give that to Crumb there, and he will change into a ghost. It's pretty appropriate, considering... Well, he just ate an undead monster's meat. Anything happened to my mutant there? Oh, she gained some strength. Nice. Awesome. And now, just a quick go over this. We got Drain. That actually doesn't drain HP. That, like, reduces strength or something. So, just ignore that. Gaze. I don't know which gaze that is. It's useless. Don't worry about it. Stop. Uh, actually, is an instant death spell. It, it's para-elemental, so it may not be as useful. But it's still pretty good. And touch is your draining type attack. So, uh, the only problem with touch, though, unlike melt, is that it's para-elemental, so it won't work on zombies or undead, whereas melt will. So he's going to be kind of useless against the, the bosses. Uh, if you can tell, we're going to be fighting the four fiends all over again. And rays that will revive a party member without the cost of a heart, I believe. So, there we are. And we got some nice protections here. Let's see... Yeah, we want Tifa in the front now. Or maybe Jean. I'll take a moment to rearrange it and be right back. Okay, basically, I just uh, switched my part, switched Tifa and Krom around since Tifa has enough defense now. So there we go. Well, this is different. Whoa! Yeah, it's like an elevator. Sort of. You can still encounter enemies on the elevator there, though. Oh. Yeah, we, these floors are going to start repeating for a little while. Uh, and also note that our position here um, will always stay on the first floor. You can't use the door to just automatically go up or down or whatever. If you go back to the first floor, you're kicked out. So. So I was saying, uh, for my review of the game, I'd give the graphics a 7 out of 10. They were pretty average, pleasing to the eye. Nothing spectacular, though. Oh, this is different. Oops, wrong way. Uh-oh, you know who that is. Let's see, how are we doing? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. And now it's time to fight Seiraiu, too. So let's get him. Let's see, Sun Sword, Melt. Uh, Crumb really can't do a whole lot. Just use anything besides your good abilities. And Flare! I suppose I could use stone on him, but, you know, let's not. We don't want to make it too easy. Yeah, one more round of that ought to do. Yeah, he's immune to para-elemental, so... Got him! And we get the meat of Tsurayu, too. I want to give that to Isis, who will change into a Dark Rose. And those will be my final monsters of the game. Let's take a look at it. Nose, a physical attack. Not bad. Drink is a draining type attack, which will also work on undead. It's not para-elemental. Sleep, I guess you got nothing better to do. Stop, uh, like the ghost, instant death. I think this gaze is the one that curses or confuses. It's not, I don't think it's stone gaze or uh, the death gaze. I, I forget. I'll check it out, but... These are going to be my two final monsters for the game. Uh, there's also a better monster called High Slime, which is basically like a slime but more powerful, and you get Psychic Blast and Gas and Melt and everything. Probably the best monster in the game, but you can't just uh, get to it directly by eating one of the final four fiends' meats. 
uh, you have to eat one of theirs, then eat another monster's meat, which takes too long. We're not that far from the end of the game. I don't want to go through that much effort. Oh, is my mutant okay? Yeah, yeah, she's okay. Good. Oh, her mana went up. All right. Almost max. And we get Arthur's armor. I want to give that to Jean there. Most powerful armor in the game. Yeah, she's in good shape now. And now we just gotta go through this floor a few times. I really enjoyed the music for this game. I'd give it a 8 out of 10. I mean, back then, we didn't... We didn't have boss music in RPGs, you know? So, I mean, that's one thing I really take into consideration with this. Psychic Blast! Oh, that actually worked pretty well on them. Yeah, you see staff? I like how they have the skull and crossbones there. Haha! <laughs> Anything bad happen here? No. Alright, good. Let's move on. But yeah, like, if we had boss music in a game, it was pretty much reserved for the final boss. So, yeah, I like how they did that in this game. Hey, hey, my mutant learned a new ability, Quake. Uh, not the best ability, because a lot of enemies are immune to Quake, but it's an attack that hits all enemies. So, wow, I'm just really getting the rare abilities in this run-through. So, all right. Let's move along, then. I also like the background music for this game, too. It really inspires you to go adventuring. Matsu really did a great job with this one. If I didn't say, I gave the music an 8 out of 10. I forgot. And now, yeah. Oh, no, this way. That's a little long. And now it's time for the battle against Bayako. Let's see. Drink will work, but touch will not. Uh, yeah, my ghost is kind of useless for now. Oh, well. And flare! Yeah, some sort doesn't always work, but oh, well. Good thing we got that dragon armor. I'd almost consider putting uh, Jean up front, but um, her HP is just too low, I think. That's okay, we can take him. Uh, if you haven't noticed, they're a little stronger than they were before, too. Uh, HP-wise, stat-wise, everything. Appropriate for a final boss gauntlet. Is my mutant okay? Yes, she's okay. Alright. And we get... What? Just a shoe? Huh. Okay, whatever. Okay, I had to look up the shoes to see what they did. Yeah, they actually boost your mana. And your defense, obviously. So, let's make it up here. Anything bad happen? No, good. I kind of liked how the storyline worked in this game. It wasn't really developed, so I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Pretty average RPG. You know, go here, save the world, go there, save that world. But I liked how they actually fit in some dialogue for the NPCs. Back then, dialogue wasn't really prominent in games, so I kind of like how they did that. It's 1989, come on! Let's at least make it to Suzaku this time around. Gotta put an end to their evil reign of terror. Oh, here we are. There it is. Alright, let's get them. Just the same thing as the other ones. They're undead, so most powerful attack. Flare, obviously. Ha ha. All he can do is hit me with a beak. One more ought to do. He's not that much tougher than he was before. He was already pretty tough to begin with, so... He's not even as powerful now as he was on the overworld map back then. Yeah, drain-type attacks are really good against bosses here. Nah, we don't need Suzaku's meat. Not this time. And we get the Masamune. Um, it's... Oh, what is it? I think it attacks 
a group or one enemy or something or other. I don't know. I don't use it. Excalibur's better anyway. So, and the glass sword. So, well, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play the Final Fantasy Legend. What will we find when we reach the top of this side of the tower? Will paradise await us? What happened to Ashura? And who's that creepy guy with the top hat? Find out next time on the exciting finale of Let's Play The Final Fantasy Legend! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>